Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Saurabh Khandilwal and I'm a manager in the artificial intelligence and analytics space with one of the leading IT services firm. I particularly work in the stream of data and reporting and the functional area that I am keenly involved in is the cards and payments industry. So this is a bit of an introduction about myself. Okay, here's the interesting question. Why am I here? Why am I making this video and uh, uh, putting this on my YouTube channel? So this is all about uh, sharing some knowledge that I have gathered over the last few years working in this domain, uh, both in the te technical as well as the functional space. And I also thought that this would be a good way to collaborate and to learn with fellow professionals. I also wanted to discuss some of the latest trends uh, in the space of data and reporting, not just about data and reporting, but uh, also functionally, I wanted to talk about what are the kind of things, what are the kind of shifts that I'm seeing in the cards and payments industry. Uh, I would also like to talk about some best practices. So again, um, this is all about um, you know delivering IT projects within the cards and payments domain. So um, this is a huge domain, you know, you know, just like other domains uh, and other verticals, for example, healthcare or logistics, hospitality, retail. So this comes under the gamut of uh, banking and financial services and banking and financial services in itself is a huge space, right? You've got capital markets there, then you've got banking, you've got cards and payments, you've got consumer finance and loans, mortgages, and so on and so forth. It's huge. So particularly within the banking and financial services gamut, we're gonna talk about cards and payments in this series of videos. All right, and last but not the least, well, um, you know, we are all facing these trying times, uh, dealing with the uh, pandemic, sitting at home, uh, trying to, to collaborate with each other, um, trying to communicate with each other, be it your colleagues, your friends, your families. So I just thought that this is a good forum to, to connect with people whom I don't know so far working in this industry. And um, well, we can have some fun together. I can learn some things from you. You can learn some things from me and uh, we can make this an enriching experience for both of us. And I have a last slide here about the format of these videos. Like I said, uh, these videos uh, would be intended audience being software engineers, IT consultants in the uh, cards and payments functional domain. However, anyone else who wishes to learn about this domain is more than welcome. You know, if somebody is trying to switch over to payments and cards domain or is going to be assigned to uh, one of the projects in future, say for example, and he wants to get some knowledge, this is a good place. There'll be short videos. Some of the videos would be extensive. I mean, it depends really if there are topics that I feel that uh, would be better to just cover in totality, then maybe those videos would be a little longer. But other than that, the videos would be of short duration, right? Just just enough so that we can all digest that, that uh, little bit of uh, information let's say a five minute or a ten minute video i'll be using some websites and resource references again uh, I'll, I'll specifically be going with some general websites some general knowledge websites which you know all of us have been using for example i'll be using wikipedia investopedia anything uh, that is generally available wherever possible i'll try to create a small deck so there'll be a series of playlists both technical and functional in nature. I'll probably begin with the functional aspects where I'll talk about the um, payments in the card industry and what the kind of different entities that you see within this industry. And then we'll go deeper and talk and learn more about each of these entities in detail. We'll also take some Q&A, but since um, at the moment, these are not live sessions, so the live Q&A may not be possible. Um, these will all be pre-recorded videos. Uh, so what we will do is we can take up some Q&A in the comment section. So feel free to put in your comments. Um, I'll try to address all the questions. If there's any feedback, if there is anything that you 
would suggest to help me to improve the content of these videos those are absolutely welcome so with this my friends um, let's maybe get the learning going i'll end this deck here and i'll quickly give you an overview of what we are going to cover in these sessions and then i'll end this first video there and from the second video onwards we'll start looking into each of those those entities in a bit detail all right so let's get going we are here to talk about the payments and cards industry okay so this is how you generally refer this industry some may be calling this as cards and payment networks payments cards they are all under the same umbrella this is the payments and cards industry most of us know about this industry if not say from a learning perspective but from a usage standpoint we all have actually uh, been a part of this industry somewhere or the other we all have used credit cards debit cards some sort of cards you know prepaid cards vouchers and things like that while uh, making transactions for a day to day needs right so for example if you go to a grocery store you make a payment you use a card or for example when you are going to a petrol station to get your to get the fuel up in your car um, you may be using a card over there so there are many places in your day to day life where you use a card to do some transactions so now if we specifically talk about the various entities that are there in the payments and cards industry we can list them down into certain buckets you know so you would have a card that is being issued by a bank uh, that's the issuer of the card uh, you use the card in a grocery store the grocery store is actually the merchant who is using this card for you and then you would also have entities like an acquirer uh, a network which does the processing of the payment and things like that so if we talk about all of these entities and we want to just list them down there is a very easy mnemonic that you can use to remember them in future so i'm going to write that down for you it's called as manic okay it's the manic model and the mnemonic manic that you can use to remember all of these entities used in a payments and cards industry now what does this uh, mnemonic stand for how do you expand this mnemonic right this is an abbreviated form obviously so how do you expand that well it's very simple some of you may have guessed it m is actually nothing but the merchant a is your acquirer n is the the network i is your issuer and c is your card holder okay so this is how you define all of the entities within the payments and cards industry at a very very high level you have a merchant you have an acquirer you have a network you have an issuer you have a card holder and this guy here sits in the middle and this is the guy which does the talking on the two sides this side and this side you have two entities the merchant and the acquirer sitting on the one side and the issuer and the card holder sitting on the other side and in the middle you have the network that does the talking the communication part of it and does the processing of the payments okay a little bit more about these entities and so we better understand them at a high level of what they are well let's start from the card holder on your extreme right here right who is this guy well this guy is just an ordinary person with a card like you and me 
unless of course you happen to be uh, the owner of an acquiring firm or the CEO of a bank well actually CEOs would also have their own personal cards but then you know just for the sake of it unless you belong to any of these entities here on the uh, on the on the left of C you would all be falling under this entity called as card holder if you have a card a physical card or a virtual card that you're using for your monetary transactions it's people like you and me who form the card holder then comes the issuer okay as the name says this is the guy who issues the card for the card holder so so who's an issuer it's the card issuing authority or the card issuing organization there could be some banks you know there's so many banks for example depends on which part of the world you are in if you are in uk you could probably relate to something like a barclays or a netwest if you are in india you could some relates to something like an icici um, or or hdfc or sbi so all of these are issuers of the cards they issue the cards for you which you then use for your day-to-day -day purpose okay now let's leave this here we'll talk about it at the end this guy here in the middle let's look at these two here okay so now let's shift on the on the on the extreme left and talk about merchant merchant is very very simple right as the name says this is the merchant who is providing you these services so he is the services provider for you typical examples could be grocery stores um, small merchants shops brick and mortar shops online e-commerce portals these are all merchants of various kinds okay so as a card holder you use the services of a merchant right the merchant would would have their own um, bank account right they would have their own bank account so if you do an online transaction or you swipe the card uh, on a POS a point of swipe machine at a merchant store then the money automatically gets deducted from your account and gets credited to the merchant's bank account so you would have the merchant would have a bank account associated right then let's talk about the um, the other entity on the right to the merchant which is the acquirer so um, the merchant has the account where the money gets deposited but the merchant needs the services of a body that handles the transactions on the behalf of the merchant so if i am a merchant let's say if i have a grocery store or if i have a departmental store i have my bank account with say um, a bank like barclays but then if a customer comes to my shop uh, how am i going to take the payment from him right uh, he has the card he would he would uh, present the card to me and then i would take the card but then how do i take the money from that card and deposit into my bank account so here is where the acquirer comes into picture the acquirer takes the money on behalf of the merchant right let me write it down here takes money on behalf of merchant okay and then deposits that into the merchant's account when the transaction is settled okay so this is the role of the acquirer acquirer as the name says it acquires the transaction it acquires the money from the cardholder's account and then deposits that into the merchant's account okay so that's the role of the acquirer um, there are some acquirers that you can uh, read about you can do a little bit of google um, the many acquirers some of the renowned ones for example um, there is an entity called as first data right very very popular uh, a very famous acquirer you can you can read about that you can read about world pay another one so these are all the different acquirers again it depends what part of uh, the world you are so you have different set of acquirers then comes the network in the middle right the network is the entity 
that does the talking, like I said in the beginning, between the left side entities and the right side entities. So the network is the guy who tells the acquirer, okay, now you have got to make a transaction request on the behalf of the merchant. Give me all the details that you have. I'll take the details, I'll do the processing, and I'll talk to the issuer, and then eventually to the cardholder. Get the confirmation back, okay? Get the confirmation back that everything is fine. The transaction is authorized. And then I will give you a confirmation to transfer the money to the merchant's account. Lots of things uh, handled by this entity. Right, so it does a lot of conversations, a lot of talking. All of this talking really happens with the in the form of some messages. Right, there's various sort of messages, messaging systems, messages, messaging standards that are being used. Uh, again, there are certain bodies the, that govern these standards. We'll talk about these these bodies in little detail in the forthcoming videos. But for now, just remember that um, this chap here in the middle is responsible for handling the the uh, processing the transaction okay so um, very important let's take some examples here let so let me just write it down here network does the processing the communication okay um, then network um, talks both on the acquirer side as well as on the issuer side okay so typically in the payments cards industry um, an acquirer is uh, in a shorthand written as ACQ, an issuer is in a shorthand written as ISSO. Wherever possible, I'll try to stick to the same formats, um, ACQ and ISS. So whenever I write ACQ, I mean an acquirer. Whenever I write an ISS, uh, I'd mean an issuer. For network, I'd probably write N slash W, okay, just to make it make it simple and easy. And then let's take some examples here for the network. So you, you would have heard all of these names, I'm sure, you know. So you would have heard names like Visa, you would have name heard of names like MasterCard, and so on and so forth. Okay, so these are the, uh, the networks that provide, that power the card of the issuer um, to, to handle these transactions and to ensure that the transactions, they happen successfully. So that, at a very, very high level, is the manic model for you and the five entities that are responsible for a real-time transaction to be authorized and the money being settled across the accounts of all the parties. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any comments or any feedback, like I said, uh, please put that in the comment section, any questions that you have. Um, I'm happy to take all of those questions. Please also let your your friends or anyone else who's interested to learn about this industry in a little bit more detail. Uh, you can just pass on these links to him or her so that they can also benefit out of these videos. Okay, so I'll see you all in the next video then. Happy learning. Thank you.